Hello children. How is everybody doing? I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. It's good to see you all today. I have missed you all so much. Today we are going to read a story about an orphan who is adopted by a family and is ha and tries to find happiness. Her name is Anne. Are you ready? Let's begin. Anne of Green Gables based on the novel by Lucy Maud Montgomery illustrated by Alan Marks and retold by Mary Seabag. Anne had been an orphan ever since she could remember but now Matthew and Marilla had agreed to adopt her. She gazed with delight at the blossoming cherry trees as Matthew drove her to their farm. Prince Edward Island is the prettiest place in the world, she chattered. I never thought I'd actually live here. I can't believe I have a real new home. Green Gables is just beautiful. I'd be perfectly happy if it wasn't for my red hair, she sighed. Oh, Matthew, red hair is such a trial. It doesn't matter how you look, declared Marilla, when she said goodnight that evening. Just behave and we'll do our best for you. I'll try, came Anne's muffled voice. But it's really, really hard to be good all the time. The next morning, Anne looked out from her bedroom window filled with determination. Now I'm at Green Gables. I'll be dazzlingly good always, she promised. But that very afternoon, Marilla's friend came for tea. Well, she exclaimed, what an ugly skinny child and her hair's as orange as carrots. I hate you, Anne screamed. You horrible woman. Furious Marilla sent Anne straight to bed. You should have heard her, Matthew. Such a temper. What are we going to do? I'll talk to her, Matthew offered, and ask her to say sorry. He found Anne sobbing her out, her heart out. I will say sorry, she sniffed, but only because it's you asking me, Matthew. You and I are kindred spirits. Anne sank to her knees before Marilla's friend and clasped her hands. You were right. I am red-haired and ugly. Please forgive a poor, homeless, unloved orphan. Marilla couldn't help smiling. Anne was actually enjoying her apology. No house with Anne in it will ever be dull, she told Matthew. I hope she doesn't lose her temper at school. Anne loved school. Her best friend was Diana, who had shining black hair and dresses with wonderful puffed sleeves. How Anne longed for a pretty dress too. Her, twin, her tunics were plain and dull. Guess who wants to be your friend? Dinah giggled one day. Gilbert lied. Anne thought Gilbert was cheeky. She ignored him until he whispered, Hey, carrots! Then, twack! Anne whacked her slate on his head. Anne Shirley! shouted the teacher. Anne had to stand in front of her class for the entire afternoon. She was too angry to cry. Instead, she decided to change her hair. 
and she vowed she would never ever ever forgive Gilbert Blythe. When Anne didn't come down for tea, Marilla went to look for her. You've got green hair, she gasped. I dyed it, Anne wailed, and it went wrong. Oh, Matthew, I'm in the depths of despair, Anne declared the next day. I didn't think anything could be worse than red hair. Cheer up, Matthew smiled. It will wash out eventually. Anne's hair was soon red again and as red as the turning leaves, but she didn't mind. She spent every day with Diana, sharing stories and sweet ripe apples in the orchard and racing through the frosty winter snows. For Christmas, Matthew surprised her with the prettiest dress she had ever seen and she wore it to perform in the school play. She had never been so happy, but she still wouldn't forgive Gilbert for teasing her about her hair. One afternoon, Anne decided to take out the old boat. I'll float off into the far blue yonder, she murmured. She was drifting in the deepest part of the river when the boat sprang a leak. Anne was lost in a sea of daydreams. She didn't notice water was filling the boat. Help! she yelled as she almost capsized. Anne called a voice. There was Gilbert pulling her to safety. I'm sorry I called you carrots. Can we be friends? Anne and Gilbert became the very best of friends. The end. So children, did you like this story? Did you notice how Anne listens to everything what Matthew says and shares all her problems with him? And she listens to everything that he says even when he asks her to apologize to the guest. So children, who is your confidant? Who do you share your feelings with? Is it your mother, your father, your brother or sister or your grandparents? Now today children, I want you to write a short paragraph about the character of Anne and what you learned from the story. So, after writing, recheck for your mistakes and errors. Okay? And children, until we see each other again, take care, stay safe, goodbye.